Hey Leo and welcome back. This is going to be your general love reading for September 2022 and it is a love reading so it's going to be about you and another person in love or about love right in a love type of a connection here and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading all right. So that also means it's not going to resonate for all of you, and that's okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all the details about that in the description box. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on with you in a love situation in September. All right, for the situation, we have the Seven of Swords crossed by the Seven of Pentacles. All right, two sevens. That might be symbolic for somebody. Seven, seven, or seeing a lot of sevens. Um, somebody's been avoiding here. Somebody's been sneaking away from facing a certain situation or has been kind of sneaking away from figuring things out, organizing things, or really putting things into place. Um, I, I feel like whoever this is, it's like they know that this is what they should be doing or this is what they want to be doing, but there's a sense of avoiding that. Um, let's see. For your energy, we have the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. All right. A lot of wands here, right? Um, this definitely feels like your energy, right? <laughs> um, it's very intense. Very intense. I feel like, you know, you're... I feel like there was a point in time here where you were feeling very, very strong. You were um, standing very strong in your power, feeling very empowered. But it's almost like that got tiring in a way, like, it's like it because it definitely feels like something has not worked out here, right? With the Seven of Pentacles being in the challenged position, it's like things have not yet yielded some results. And it's like you were being strong through that until it just got really tiring being so strong. And so now I feel like you're moving towards this Nine of Wands where it's like, yeah, you, you, you just feel exhausted. I mean, Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands, you, you're feeling exhausted here. But what I'm getting, the message with this Nine of Wands is that, you know, you're still pushing through. Like, you're still moving ahead on this path, whatever it is for you. Let's see what's going on with the other person here. We have the Four of Swords, the Page of Wands and the moon all right so pisces energy here some of you might be dealing with a pisces or there might be strong pisces in their charts um this person is healing for something from something or possibly recovering from something and it could be something to do with the connection with you or it could be something completely separate okay um, it's going to be different for each of you. I do see them coming out of that with that page of wands. And here is Sylvia wanting to mess up our um, spread here. Yeah, you can sit here. Just not in front of the cards, please. Um, so yeah, they're, it's like they're stepping out of that resting phase or that recovery phase. It's like they're recovering, right? But I feel like they're at the end of that recovering. That's why we have this card in the first position. It represents... Um, you know, more of the previous energy, moving towards being able to move forward from that, taking those first steps after having been passive in some way. All right, Sylvia, you're going to have to, like, sit somewhere. <laughs> okay, there she goes. She's such a good girl. She listens to me. <laughs> All right, um, so they're taking these first steps, right, away from or, you know, after whatever it is that they needed to recover from. However, those first steps, though, they do come with some fear. They do come with some doubt, like not being really sure if this is um, 
where they should be moving towards or if they have what it takes in order to move in that direction. It just feels very unknown. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Two of Swords. Okay, so somebody is possibly going to have to make some kind of a decision. Um, and it does feel like for the moment, it's like they don't, you or them, not really knowing which way to go. Um, however, I do see some progress here. But let's clarify and get more, more details. And yeah, do not be um, discouraged just yet by that Two of Swords because we will see what that's all about. All right, so for the Sevens, Seven of Swords and Seven of Pentacles, let's see. All right, we have the Page of Swords, Justice, okay, so Libra also showing up here, and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, it feels like either somebody was avoiding making some kind of a decision. For some of them, it could even be um, in the legal system in some way involving other people or involving some kind of a contract here. Maybe a legal contract, could be anything. Um, but it feels like there was a lot of, I almost want to say like excuses. Um, in order to kind of avoid fully doing all the work that needed to be done. Um, and this could even be between you and this person, right? Them just kind of avoiding, you know, some resolving something. Um, it could be them or you um, avoiding a little bit and just finding little justifications for yourself or for themselves to not really work as a team here. It just really feels like somebody was not participating as much and was just trying to avoid having to take certain steps in order to find some kind of a resolution to something. And yes, for some of them it could be something very big, you know, like a legal contract, and for others it could be something small. Like just, you know, being fair in terms of communication, right, with that page of swords. Um, and working together as a team when it comes to communicating and resolving. Someone's like just sneaking away from that, or was. Let's see for your energy. Let's see that Ten of Wands. The Eight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's, I feel like you having stood so strong or, you know, you just really trying to empower yourself, it's almost like it just really took this toll on you where you felt trapped in that. Like, it just felt like this en endless effort, this endless trying to be, to be this way or to, to maintain this sense of self. But because the results weren't coming in, um, it's like, you know, you, you just feel like giving up. It feels like things are just like all over the place, you know, like, um, it, it just got too intense for you or it's getting intense for you or this is possibly how you're feeling right now. So let me see that nine of wands. All right, the King of Wands, all right, good. And the Chariot, okay, so Cancer energy also showing up. Okay, so this is really positive because even though you're feeling exhausted and even though you're feeling like giving up, it actually feels like that's what you should do. Um, <laughs> and what I mean is not giving up on yourself, not giving up on whatever path that you're on and not even necessarily giving up on the other person if that's, if that's the issue here. But it's more of not trying to maintain something within your own self that's not feeling authentic to you. It almost feels like, you know, you were, you were either moving too fast or just moving in a direction that you didn't fully um, align with. And it just didn't feel, it didn't feel like that's what you should be moving towards or it felt like that's just not really you and that it's just not really representative of what you're feeling at the moment. Um, 
So yeah, you know, allowing yourself to feel a difficult energy is okay. That's what I'm getting here. And it does feel like, you know, you're really taking control over this now. And actually, it's like as soon as you let go of trying to maintain this strength or this empowerment, it actually comes in authentically. And then you're feeling strong and you're feeling in your power again, but this time it's real. It's more so than before. All right, Leo. Let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see this Four of Swords. Oh, we have the Sun. That's your energy. And we also have the Devil. All right, Capricorn. Hmm. So there's something um, that this person may have been afraid of. There may have been some fears or there may have been some toxic type of attachments to you or some toxic thoughts or ideas in terms of happiness, either with you or in terms of just their own happiness. Whatever that is or was, that is what they are recovering from. Um, even, you know, like a false sense of happiness that they may have been experiencing or, or living. Something was definitely um, unhealthy here, and whatever that is, it was preventing them from having happiness. This person may have also been going through some kind of a depression, and that could be what they are recovering from, and that could have been influencing, you know, the avoidant behavior if it was them who was avoidant. It could have created some, um, like, Unmotiv unmotivated energy, like a lack of motivation in order for them to put in this effort that was required of them for this. I see them moving away from that with some doubt, of course, that's definitely here, but they are recovering and they are taking some steps and they are finding some motivation here with this page of wands. So let's actually see the page of wands. And we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so this person is definitely freeing themselves from whatever that devil's energy was, right? That they are recovering from. And so they're, I'm seeing them like moving in September towards being completely independent of that devil's energy. All right, whatever that attachment was, whatever that fear was that was toxic or unhealthy. Um, for some of them, it could have been an addiction. Whatever that is and that they are recovering from, they are completely um, detached from that, ready to take the new step forward towards happiness, basically, towards fulfillment. And here she is again. All right, let's see. Let me see the moon. <laughs> it looks like she was trying to blow out the candle. <laughs> I love how cats are fascinated by candles and fire. All right, so for the moon, please. All right, and we have, she just messed everything up. All right, the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Yeah, there's some doubt concerning a new path because they're walking away from something. So even though they are detached from this devil's energy, right, it's like, it's still a progress though in terms of, all right, moving further and further away from it, even in the physical, right? Um, so emotionally or maybe, you know, energetically, they are independent and free of that. But they're still in the process of moving further and further away from it and moving towards that new path. So that does come with some un uncertainty. So I feel like that's actually why we have this Two of Swords here as the potential outcome between you and this person. Because um, they're still moving away from something here, still recovering from something. And, you know, you're, you're finding your power, though. That's, that's what's good here. So let's actually see this Two of Swords. All 
All right, Ten of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Star. Yeah, so this is for the most part, there is a lot of positivity here. Yes, there is a little bit of um, uncertainty of not having fully made some kind of a decision in terms of you and this person. The love is definitely here with this Ten of Cups, and there's definitely this essence of, you know, being at a crossroads, right? But knowing that there is love here, knowing that there is love here and having hope for that. Um, I, I feel like somebody is really just trying to choose between, okay, you know what, like, Staying in this situation, staying in some kind of a situation where there's disappointment, even if they've moved away from it, it's like there's still something here. They're still moving away. Um, it's still a progress, as I said before. And that can feel a little bit um, draining. And I feel like it's easy for, especially for this person here um, that you're dealing with, to like fall into like some kind of a depressive mode. So I feel like there's a little bit of a fluctuation between, okay, I have hope and I'm moving towards love and this depression that might be slowing them down a little bit. So I feel like that's actually what's slowing them down and what is keeping things a little bit in this Two of Swords energy. Um, but ultimately, we do have the star as the very final card. So I feel like the star is overpowering the more negative energies here and that depression. It's like there's hope. There's divine support here, so things are moving forward. And this is also true for you. It's not just for this person. So just take these messages as they make sense for you, whether it be for yourself or for the other person. Because this could definitely be true for you as well, you know, feeling so exhausted. So you could easily also be falling into some kind of depressed energy. But I feel like you're being asked to just focus on on that Ten of Cups, on love that you want to be in your life overall. All right, Leo. Let's get a final message for you, either in relation to this or just anything that wants to come through for you. And we have patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play while you wait. Yeah. Play while you wait. Easier said than done, right? <laughs> All right, Leo, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.